Hi guys and welcome, Dembon here with a command block contraption that is helping me recently with measuring farm speeds in a simple, quick, easy and accurate way. So I decided to share it with you and package it in this one command type block of contraption. To set it up, you need some flat area 3x3 three three for starters, get yourself some space in your inventory, a command block and paste the command which you can find in the description in the downer. Then choose always active or use a button the old fashioned way and it should build itself. Now just slap a lever to it and it's good to go. What this contraption does is measure drops, drops per hour and duration of the experiment. So pretty much all I needed to evaluate farm speeds. It does that with one second resolution and with this setup you can count up to half a million items but if you need even more you can change the resolution to more than a second which is 20 ticks and you should be able to count even more items with it. To do so, you need to change the resolution constant in the paste command and paste this contraption again. So for instance, a resolution of 100 ticks or 5 seconds will give you a capacity of 2.5 million items. Now, after you have spawned this contraption, you were also given counter blocks, which when placed will count the times they have been triggered by a redstone signal and we will use this here to count drops. The setup works best with farms, where by design items are collected with hoppers or dropped to water streams or passed through hopper pipes to the chests, because typically you don't need to build anything special to use it. Just attach those counter blocks to your dropper circuit, item elevator or a hopper line. You just need to make sure that those dropper circuits don't trigger without items in it, or in case of elevators, they are silent. This contraption is not for farms where items are only transported in the form of items or where you want to factor in the lag the farm generates on the game. In such cases you should use other methods like pandas and sunkans farm stats command block contraption which counts items from item entities. To attach the counter to an existing contraption, find the location that cycles the power for each item, just make sure that the dropper doesn't trigger with the high pitch sound indicating it triggered but it didn't drop the item, like here because it will be registering false items. This is a dropper circuit you can use to count items up to the hopper speeds. Just pipe items straight to this dropper and place the counter anywhere where blocks change power state with each item. If you only count one type of item, you can use these setups which retain some items in the droppers but have capacity for up to 18,000 items per hour or double hopper speeds. This command block measuring tool is even easier to use with item elevators. Just attach the counter block anywhere really or to the item elevator and your items should be counted. Just make sure the elevator doesn't make those stupid dropper noises when it fails. Like this one. These are three designs that should work just fine. The first one is a standard item host type elevator that can do 9000 items per hour. The second one is Drake's Derby, one wide silent elevator that we can measure easily at 3600 items per hour. And here is El Mango's design that does 6000 items per hour. And we can measure all of it using this command block contraption. Now if you just have a hopper pipe that takes your drops from a farm to the chest, you can attach a simple 4 tick clock to it, providing the hopper pipe does not clog up, you can measure the rate items go through. Now let us see this contraption in a real life scenario. I am now developing a garden farm and for that I needed to gather some statistics about some previous designs. So here we have a slightly improved zip crowd style design of a garden farm which we would attempt to measure right now. Items are here picked up by the hopper minecarts and dropped to the water streams that collect them at the end. What you need to do is find a 3x3 space, place in the command block, copy paste the long command from the description, then choose always active, slap the lever and we are almost set. Now we can just attach our counters to the dropper circuits and it should all be done. So let's start the farm.
After a little while, when we notice that items have started flowing, we can turn on the profiler. We can see how after a short while, numbers stabilize, showing how close we are to the actual output of this farm, which is about 119,000 items per hour. I think I included all the necessary information on the sidebar that you need to know, including number of items counted, yield per hour, and time of the experiment in minutes, which should be sufficient to estimate accurately the speed of your own farms. The cool thing about it is I can leave the game, my game can crash, and I can go back to it and in theory all our current results and current experiments should all be fine and continue where we left off, which is not the case when measured manually using a stopwatch for example. That's all what I wanted to show to you today. I hope you liked the contraption and if you did or didn't, please leave a comment in the comment area below and let me know your opinion. If it seems that this is what you are looking for, feel free to use it if you wish. Otherwise, you can check Panda's video on another way of measuring your farm speeds, which relies on counting item entities. So, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.